Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. I'm Sue Louise McLaurin and I have been a freelance makeup artist for 20 years now and I'm passionate about helping the next generation of hair and makeup artists become more successful freelancers. One of the most common questions I hear is if you have one secret or one piece of advice, what would you tell other makeup artists? So today I want to tell you a little story about the best piece of advice that I ever received. Now we're going to go right back to the beginning, almost 20 years ago. I was in probably the first or second year of doing makeup and back at that time I was part of an online community, an online forum. Now this is before the days of Facebook and Instagram and Clubhouse and all those wonderful things that we have now for connecting. Back in those days they were chat rooms, online forums. And there was a quite active makeup artists forum back then called makeupartistchat.com. It doesn't exist anymore. But back then it was an incredible resource. There were some really amazing makeup artists on that forum at the time. And some who, like me, were just starting out and who went on to become really amazing makeup artists. So I really, you know, I'm grateful for that time. And one day, uh, I can't remember who asked the question, but somebody asked a question to the effect of, if you have one piece of advice that you could give makeup artists starting out today, what would that be? Now, I don't remember any of the other answers, but I'm sure they were all sorts of things like have a professional kit, build a great portfolio, network with photographers, on and on and on. But the one piece of advice that really stuck out to me came from an amazing makeup artist who many of you may be familiar with. Her name's Mary Erickson, and she had just started an online makeup store at the time called CameraReadyCosmetics.com that makeup uh, store and I was still around and Mary was such an amazing inspiration on that forum and the piece of advice that Mary gave that day was I would tell them to go and do a business course now that really struck a chord with me and it really spoke to me at the time because I'd been doing makeup because it was so much fun and I loved it I loved using all the products and buying new products and making people look pretty I got a real buzz out of it so it was all about fun for me and that piece of advice really hit home because I guess up until that point I hadn't really been taking my business that seriously I hadn't been treating it like a business and after I heard that advice I actually began to think about doing makeup differently and that's the first step. It's to change. It's a very subtle change of mindset from this is something I'm doing for fun to, okay, this is actually serious. This I could earn my living from this. And how incredible would that be? Because it's something I love doing so much. Now, I was lucky because I knew a little bit about business because I had helped my mum run my stepfather's business for a few years. And I started to put some of the systems that I was familiar with from there into place in my makeup business as I was now thinking about it as a business. So I started to take notice of how much money was coming in and more importantly, how much money was going out. I became quite conscious about the money that I was spending on my business. I started to take notice of how many products I was buying and did I really need them? And I started to keep good records. One thing became really obvious to me was that I needed to put my prices up. And so that's one of the things that I did back in those early days as well. I set a budget for how much I was going to spend on makeup each month and I stuck to that budget and I've still done that to this day. And normally it's not a dollar amount, but it's kind of a percentage of what I'm earning. So I looked at where my bookings and where my inquiries were coming from. Now, remember, there was no Facebook or Instagram back then. We had to actually advertise or network. So I became a lot more serious about attracting the sort of clients I wanted and bringing in more business. I looked at my marketing, I started to network with the right people and I even ran a few ads. I also looked at my processes around when the inquiries came in, how I dealt with those inquiries. I started taking deposits, I started using a contract and I started sending booking confirmations out to my clients once I had received their deposit. Now I considered the bookings that I had had up until that point and the type of clients that I'd been working with and I realized that 
there were some types of clients that I actually preferred working with than others. And so I set about trying to bring in more of those clients that I liked working with into my business. I figured out a way to do that and started to book more and more of those clients that I wanted to. And you know what happened when I did all of this? My business actually boomed. So year on year, I went from 56 bookings in one year to 151 the following year. So in the space of a year, just by implementing these few changes, I actually tripled my business. And what I realized is that what Mary had been alluding to is that actually doing makeup is only a small part of the puzzle. Yeah, it's the most fun part and it's really not that sexy talking about setting your rates and recording your expenses and all that sort of stuff, but it really is vitally important if you want to have a sustainable business and if you want to be able to earn a living from doing this thing that you love so much. So what I realized is that by taking the time and spending a bit of time on getting these other things set up in my business that I would actually be able to spend more time and do more of the thing that I love the most and I'd be able to make a great living out of it. So there you have it. That's the best piece of advice I ever received. Now, if you'd love to know more about how you can build your business as well, how you can get serious about doing this thing that you love so much, then I'd love to invite you to join me for a free webinar where I talk about how to become a successful makeup artist. You can go to suelouise.com forward slash webinar and I'll put a link down below and I look forward to seeing you there on the webinar. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you will be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.